gonna take our steak and we are going to put it in the toaster. Oh my god! 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 What's going on you guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be trying out TikTok food hacks. Now in this video, I'm gonna put different TikTok food hacks to the test and I'm gonna let you know if they're good or bad. Now if you're excited for this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell so I can notify you every single time that I post a new video. Now on my last video, I did a $100 cash giveaway. Congratulations to the winner. If you did not win, please don't worry because for the month of December, I will be doing a $100 cash giveaway in every single one of my videos. Now without any further ado let's go ahead and let's get started with food hack number one for food hack number one when I saw that you can make a chick-fil-a ramen I was like we have to try this out let me show you Doesn't that look so good? I am so ready to try this. This is something different, but I have a feeling it's gonna be really good. So I have my water boiling for my ramen. This is the ramen that I am using. Now while that is cooking, we are going to move on to the chicken. I have my 12 count nugget. I'm gonna go ahead and put my nuggets in the pan. We're gonna take some Polynesian sauce. and We're just going to coat this chicken in Polynesian and sweet and spicy sriracha. Look at that, mmm. Now we're going to pop it around. Ooh. Little chef Tita in the house. Look at that, Oh, Hey! We got a nugget down, nugget down. <laughs> we're gonna let this cook, and in the meanwhile we have the ramen over here as well. So once this is cooked, then it's gonna be time to plate everything and try it out. Our ramen and our chicken are ready. So I'm gonna take my ramen, I have my plate. I'm gonna put all of our ramen. Now I'm not taking any of the chicken seasoning that you would normally put on your ramen because all of this here is the flavor. So now I'm gonna take the chicken. Look how good that looks. It looks like mm. orange chicken. Right? It's giving me kind of like Panda Express vibes, you know? So now we're gonna take some sweet and spicy sriracha sauce. Gonna drizzle it all on top. And we're gonna take some sesame seeds and sprinkle a little bit on top. Oh yeah, that definitely looks like orange chicken. Okay, my mouth is watering. We're gonna try it out. We're gonna take some of the ramen and a piece of chicken. Look at that, mm. Mm, steamy nice and hot, okay. Mm. Oh my God, guys, this is literally 11 out of 10. This is so good. It's like nice and spicy and sweet. You don't need any of the chicken seasoning that you would normally put on the ramen. Like this already has a lot of flavor. Go right now to the store, get some ramen, go to Chick-fil-A, get the nuggets, all the sauce, and make this, guys, because it is so good. If you end up making it, please tag me on my Instagram so I can go ahead and repost you guys. All right, let's move on to food hack number two. For food hack number two, we are going to be making a cookies and cream popsicle. <laughs> That is pretty easy and it looks really good. So all you're gonna need is some Oreos, milk, and ice pop sticks. So I'm gonna take my Oreos and I'm gonna start crushing them. I think that should be pretty good. We're gonna open it up and we are going to pour some milk in here. All the way to the top, like that, just like that. You're gonna take your ice pop and you're gonna stick it in the center. You're gonna take a cup, stand it up like this. Now you're gonna put it in the freezer for a couple hours, but we're gonna move on to the next food hack, and then we're gonna come back in a few hours to see what it tastes like. For this next food hack, I've never seen anything like this, so as soon as I saw it on TikTok, I knew I had to put it to the test because I really wanna know if this works. So apparently you can cook a steak, a whole steak, in a toaster. Let me show you. Okay, so we're going to be making some ribeye steak boneless. We're going bougie over here. Let's see if this actually works. 
We're gonna take our steak and we are going to put it in the toaster. Should I do one or two? I think you should just do one, just one, in case right? it doesn't okay. work. That's gonna be our dinner. Let's see, <laughs> let's put it to all the way to six. All right, let's see if this cooks. Ooh, Ooh I see smoke sizzling? coming out. You hear it sizzling? Mm. Do you think it's gonna actually gonna work? I don't know, it might work. I, I need some so. steak sauce to put on top, like in the video. If this actually works, I'm gonna be so impressed. Do you smell that? It's starting to smell like burnt. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my toaster, yo. This toaster has been through a lot. The toaster and the microwave are just something else at this point. Okay, so we're gonna leave it here for a couple of minutes to see if it cooks, and I will check back with you guys in a couple of minutes. Ooh, look at all that smoke. A few moments later. It's been five minutes and it looks like it's actually cooking. And it's I did, smoking. Dude. I know. Oh my god. <gasps> Jason! Oh, oh my god. Oh my on. god. Somebody come on. Oh my god. Jason! Don't worry guys, everything is under control. We had a little scare, but everything is fine. Please do not try this at home. This is only for professionals. I repeat, professionals. So, the meat has been cooking here. We're gonna take it out. I don't get paid enough for this, to be honest. <laughs> you really don't. <laughs> We're gonna take out the steak. That looks cooked, hey. That does I'm not look of... cooked. You might be surprised. Flip it around. Oh, okay. See, so it looks pink. pretty. It looks pretty. Pink. Is that a hair? Oh gosh, I was like, is that a hair? <laughs> okay, let's cut it in half. How do you like your meat? I like my meat well done. Well, if you don't I like it well done, and that is not well done. <gasps> hey, it's pretty well done. Not, not well, well done, done enough, it's like, like to the point where rare. yeah. See, I like my meat well done. This right here. I'm a little scared to go to the ER, to be honest. So, I'm gonna have to say this food hack does not work, and don't even waste your time. That's why you have me, so I can put all of these to the test. All right, let's move on to the next one. Hey guys, you have to try the s'mores in a mug cake. First, take your graham crackers and put it in the mug, and then add some milk, and then crush it all up. Then add some marshmallows, then add some chocolate, and then place it in the microwave, and look at that. It is so good. If this works, this is going to be a game changer because a lot of the times I crave s'mores, but I can't always go outside and like roast my little marshmallow. So we're gonna see if this s'mores in a mug works. So I'm gonna take my crackers. I think about one cracker should be fine. Just like that. We're gonna take some milk just so the cookies can get nice and soft. We're gonna take a fork and smash everything. Next, we are going to put our marshmallows. I'm gonna put three. Now we're gonna take our Hershey's chocolate. It looks so good. We're gonna put it in the microwave now. They didn't say for how long, but I'm guessing probably for like a minute and a half. And then if it needs more time, we'll add more time. Okay, two, one, ready. Mmm. It smells See? pretty good. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, that smells so good. Look at the marshmallow, nice and melted. We you have the chocolate with the graham crackers. Ooh, that doesn't look too good now. <laughs> but let's try it. It smells pretty good. Mm. No? Mm -mm. What does it taste like? It's really mushy. But here, let me give it another try with the marshmallow. So I feel like I got a little bit of marshmallow. I think I'm just gonna have to stick to just doing s'mores the traditional way. Outside, roasting my marshmallow with the cracker and the chocolate. So I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10. I'm pretty sure we all remember the trend that went around on TikTok about whipped coffee. I tried that and it was really good. Well, now there is a whipped hot cocoa. So we're gonna give that a try. Let me show you. Swiss Miss hot chocolate, but you can choose any flavor that you want. We're going to put it here. Next, we are going to take some heavy whipping cream, and we are going to take four tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. This just like makes me get Christmas vibes. Just sit in my couch with my fuzzy socks, watch Grinch, and then drink my little hot cocoa. So we're gonna do four TBS of heavy whipping cream. Last step, we are going to start whisking everything. 
You're just going to keep on doing this until it gets nice and thick. Okay, all done. This is the consistency that you want. Once you're done, you're going to take your spoon. I already have my glass of milk here on the side. And we are going to put it on top of the milk. Now you can do hot milk or cold milk. I'm doing cold milk just because I like cold milk better. We are going to give it a nice little stir and let's try it. Mmm, pretty good. I guess this is like a fancier way of doing like hot cocoa. So I would have to rate this an eight out of 10. It's pretty good, it's not that bad. So now we are going to check on our Oreos popsicle. So the Oreo popsicle is ready. I left it in the freezer for about two hours. So now we are going to try it. And this is what it looks like. <gasps> it's okay, it's still gonna taste the same, okay. This is what it looks like. Okay, let me get a close up. Ooh. Cheers. Let's give it a try. Mmm. <gasps> is it good? Mmm. Look at all the Oreo though. Cookies and cream popsicle DIY made at home. This is so good. 10 out of 10. I know you love Oreos. Do you want to try it or you'll pass? I'll give it a try. It's really good. Mmm. Right? It's good. It's really good. Definitely give this a try, guys. This is so good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Definitely. 10 out of 10. All right, let's move on to the next food hack. Okay, you know that I love Starbucks. What's new? And you also know that for a while, I was obsessed with the ice white mocha with vanilla sweet cream cold foam extra caramel drizzle. Now, that drink at Starbucks, if you get a venti, it's around 6 to $7. Now, when I came across this video on TikTok saying that you can get the exact same drink, not exact, but I would say similar. You can get the similar drink at McDonald's for only $2 and something cents. I was like... We need to try this out. Let me show you. You guys, let me put you guys on. That $7 Starbucks drink, the venti ice white mocha with the sweet cream foam and the caramel drizzle, no, stop. You can get the same thing from McDonald's for $2 and it's better. Go to McDonald's, order a medium vanilla iced coffee, add whipped cream and caramel sauce and caramel drizzle and you guys have that same exact drink. Hi, may I please have a medium vanilla iced coffee? Could I add whipped cream, caramel sauce and caramel drizzle? First one, it's 3 dollars Thank you. We've secured the bag. Look at this drink. Doesn't this look so good? Okay, McDonald's, I see you. Now, the drink wasn't $2, but it still wasn't that bad. It wasn't that expensive. Now, this is a medium ice vanilla coffee, add whipped cream, caramel drizzle, and caramel syrup. And the drink was $3.56 with a tax, which is still not that bad. I mean, it's pretty huge. Normally, for this price at Starbucks, you can get a drink about this size, which we we consider it a what a grande so we're gonna try this drink now i know i know what an ice white mocha with vanilla sweet cream cold foam extra caramel drizzle tastes like okay don't get it twisted so we're gonna see if this tastes very similar to it and if it does this is a game changer because you know what it looks like i'm going to be saving three dollars and like 20 cents if this tastes very similar to it so we're gonna give it a nice stir look at all that caramel i don't know about you guys but i love Caramel. Is it caramel or caramel? Caramel, caramel, caramello, caramelation. <laughs> Let's try it. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> you guys know what movie that's from? This tastes very similar to the ice white mocha. I'm a little shook over here. And this was only three dollars and what three dollars and 56 cents this drink is so good i'm gonna have to give this a 10 out of 10. will i come back to mcdonald's tomorrow morning and pick this up definitely for sure all right guys that is the end of today's video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so i can notify you every single time that i post a new video and i love you guys so much thank you for all the love and all the support and i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, yeah. LABB, who we running with, yeah. 2233, I'm on 10.